Okay, Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel, the elect of Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, all praises and glory is due to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Kadash, for giving us this knowledge, this truth, this understanding, especially in the times that we are living in, which is indeed a blessing. Now, this video will be a, a response to the uh, uh, Buffalo shooting uh, that occurred a few days ago. Uh, the title of this video will be called Deliver Me From The Wicked Which Is Thy Sword. Deliver Me From The Wicked Which Is Thy Sword. And that's the prayer of us that no one understand this truth, i.e. the hopeful elect. Our prayer to Yahweh Hashem Yahshai is to be delivered from the wicked, which is Esau, Edom, which is the sword of the Lord. We understand this. We understand that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, creates both sides. He deals with good as well as evil. He said that uh, in Amos, the third chapter, he said that, if there's evil in the city, he has done it. Now, a lot of our people don't know this, okay? And a good example was uh, Buffalo, which is, which is indeed a city, and the evil that came out of there, the Lord did it. Okay, let's read it. This is why in Jeremiah 4 and 22, the Lord said, my people are, are foolish, they have not known me. All right, so you don't understand that the Heavenly Father does good as well as evil. Okay, this is the book of Amos 3 and 6. It says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there, now here's the point, shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? So again, an example of that evil was that Buffalo shooting, okay? City of Buffalo and the shooting that happened there. Okay, you see on your screen, Buffalo mass shooting, right? And uh, these are the different... Um, the different web pages of information concerning the shooting. All right, we're going to read some of this stuff here. Who are the victims of the mass shooting in Buffalo? Buffalo mass shooter alleged manifesto leaves no doubt attack was. Let's take a look at that. Attack was white supremacist terrorism. Which the so-called white man's not white, he's red. And his true nationality, according to the Bible, is Esau, Edom. Which indeed is the sword of the Lord. The, the Edomites are the sword of the Lord on the left-hand side. And the Lord is going to use that sword to punish you Israelites. That's why you had that so-called white supremacist terrorism. The Edomites are the sword of the Lord. Not only that, the Edomites were blessed with the sword. When you go back to Genesis uh, 27 and 40. Let's go to that real quick. As a matter of fact, it's one of the, uh, one of the scriptures on my list. So I'm going to go to it right now. Let's prove that Esau was blessed with the sword. Which the modern day sword is the gun. Okay, weapons of war, if you will. That's Esau's blessing. This is the book of uh, Genesis 27. Well, let's start at the 38th verse. And by the way, the word Genesis means beginnings. Everything has a beginning. Okay? There's a reason why the so-called white man has in intense hate for you so-called blacks okay you so-called puerto ricans you so-called mexicans 
You Israelites, there's a reason why the so-called white man Esau Edom has an intense hatred for you. It goes back to the enmity that the Lord said. Now look up that word enmity, enmity, which literally means hatred. The Lord said that he would put enmity between the seed of the serpent, which later would be known as Esau Edom, and the seed of the woman, which later would be known as the Israelites. So it's an old hatred. Okay? The Heavenly Father put it there. He said that in the book of Genesis. He will put hatred between Esau, basically between Esau and Jacob. Now you saw hatred between Cain and Abel. Guess what? Cain represents Esau. The word Cain is from the Hebrew word Quayan, which means weapon. Once again, what was Esau's blessing? The weapon. And Abel represented Jacob, okay, Israel. So there you go, Cain and Abel, what happened there? Then later you had Esau and Jacob, the same story repeats itself. That's why the scriptures say there's no new thing under the sun. You had Cain and Abel, you had Jacob and Esau. Jacob and Esau had hatred between each other. Okay? So it's the same thing now, man. And you Israelites, you got to understand this. And the only ones that's going to understand this anyway is the elect. The ones that have been chosen to understand it. The majority of our people are just gone. Uh, what is that? Jeremiah 5 and 23. They have revolted. And matter of fact, let me get that real quick. The majority of you are just gone. That's why there has there have to be an ethnic cleansing. The Lord has to use the so-called white man to punish you Israelites, man. Then he's going to turn around and punish the so-called white man. <laughs> Because a lot of you are gone, man. You're just gone. You so-called black women, you're gone. You so-called black men, you're, uh, you're gone. The majority of our nation is just gone. Okay? And the only thing that can help them is ethnic cleansing. <laughs> right? I mean, you look at it as a buffalo shooting. I look at it, according to the scriptures, as ethnic cleansing. That's what it is. Uh, this is the book of... Uh, Jeremiah the fifth chapter the uh, oh, hold on oh let's start at the 22nd verse because the heavenly father got a lot to say here and he's saying it by the prophet Jeremiah fear ye not me saith the Lord will ye not yeah and a lot of you Israelites you don't fear the heavenly father you don't even know the heavenly father you don't know his name you don't know his son's name and you certainly don't fear him how can you fear the heavenly father if you don't know him all you know is what you've been taught by your slave master. You know, this so-called white man is God, and the angels look, the, they look, uh, the angels look like the so-called white man. And, you know, the, the heavenly father looks like the so-called white man, and his son looks like, and his name is Jesus, and he loves everybody. <laughs> that's, that's what you've been taught by your slave master. All of us were taught that. At one time, I actually believed that that shit until Yahweh Shimei Hashem woke me up to the truth. Anyway, let me move on. It says, uh, Jeremiah 5 and 22, Fear ye not me, saith the Lord. <laughs> Will you not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree? So, you know, the, when you go down to the beach, the way you see the sea, uh, uh, the tide you know it comes in and it goes out that is a demonstration of the power this is what the Lord is saying to Jeremiah that is a dem demonstration of his power just on that alone the fact that the sea when you go down to the beach the sea only comes to a certain uh, a certain spot and then it goes right back to the, the ocean you know the ebb and flow of the tide so to speak that is a demonstration of the power of the Heavenly Father right which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree that it cannot pass it. And though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail. Though they roar, yet can they not pass over it. Now here's the point. But this people, in other words, what the Heavenly Father is saying, hey, you're supposed to see that, you know, see an example of that how you know when you go down to the beach and you see how the sea behaves 
you're supposed to look at that as an example of why we should fear the Heavenly Father who created that. That's the point. But let's, let's read on. But this people, what people? These Israelites out here. But this people have a revolting and rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. This is why I say the majority of our people are gone. They do not know the Heavenly Father. They do not know His Son. All they know is the lies, the BS lies that's been taught to them by the, by the oppressor, the so-called white man, the slave master. That's all they know, okay? So, because they, and then there's a scripture where the Heavenly Father said, they refuse to know me. I think, let me see if I can find that. So you're going to pay the price. You're going to pay the price for not learning about the fear of the Heavenly Father. Not learning to fear Him and His only begotten Son. You are going to pay the price. Okay, here it is right here. The same book, by the way. Jeremiah, the ninth chapter. Again, this is talking about our people, which the majority of them are wicked. Okay, Jeremiah, the ninth chapter. All of this is good, but I just want to get to the point. Well, let me start the fifth verse. And they will deceive everyone his neighbor and will not speak the truth. You even got Israelites uh, uh, in the truth or claim they're in the truth that's not speaking the truth, 100% truth. And those are, the, those are the ones the Lord is going to get. Those are the first ones the Lord is really going to get. That's pursuant to 1 Peter 4 and 17. Judgment is going to start with those that know that they're Israelites. So you Israelites out there that ain't doing the right thing, again, you remember the scripture? Fear ye not me. Remember what the Lord said? Fear ye not me. Well, obviously, you don't fear the Lord, so you, you, you should uh, concentrate on that judgment that's coming your way for not fearing the Lord. Anyway, uh, Jeremiah, the ninth chapter, the fifth verse, it says, and they will deceive everyone, his neighbor, and will not speak the truth. They have taught their tongue to speak lies and weary themselves to commit iniquity. That's the majority of our people out there. Now, here's the point. Thine habitation is in the midst of deceit. Through deceit, they refuse to know me, saith the Lord. Okay. So this is why there is going to be and there is an ethnic cleansing. And that Buffalo mass shooting was just an example of that. One of many examples to come. Okay. As a matter of fact, let me, let me go back to Jeremiah 5 and 23. But this people have a revolting and rebellious heart, meaning mind. They are revolted and gone. Neither say they in their heart or in their mind, let us now fear the Lord. See? See? Ain't that what I just said? Let us now fear the Lord, our power that giveth rain, both the former and the latter, in his season. He reserveth unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest. Right. And here it is, the Heavenly Father Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai have set up his prophets out here to teach you the fear of the Lord, to really teach, because you've been lied to. You've been lied to by your slave master, your oppressor. He didn't teach you the truth. The Heavenly Father set up the prophets, the apostles, the teachers, guys like us, to teach you the truth about him. You know, his, his name, his son's name, what he's truly like, and how when he gets mad, when he gets upset, what he does when he gets mad and upset with his people, how he sets up another nation to punish them. Okay? See? That's the real truth. So, yeah, there's going to be many more uh, buffalo mass shootings, all right? This is, just, <laughs> this is just warming up, man. And this is the Lord using Esau, all right, to punish you Israelites for your wickedness. I just read it to you. It says, Buffalo shooting spurs congressional response. And I think there's a lot more than this, just this one patsy, this lone patsy. I think it's more intricate than that. But the point is there. 
Esau is getting mad. He's getting upset. He know he knows he's losing his kingdom, and he's upset <laughs> with you, with you Israelites out there. All right, and he's coming after you, and that is, that is, by the power of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Okay, Yahweh Bashim Yashai is allowing him to do this, because Yahweh Bashim Yashai is going to use Esau Edom to punish you Israelites, man, for your wickedness. That is the that is the main message of this video. And I, f I find it funny that uh, <laughs> when I saw this, I was cracking up. It says Biden urges unity to stem racial hate after Buffalo shooting. So he's, he, this guy, this this phony here, Biden is trying to bring uh, racial harmony. Now this is the same guy who equated so-called black children to roaches. Let me show you that. This was years ago. He, he made the statement. Right? This is from, uh, as you see here, Sandra Rose. It's a, a blog that I found. Uh, open post. Joe Biden refuses to explain what he meant by roaches in a viral video clip. This is dated December 8, 2019, right? <laughs> Now check this out. It says, it says this, the, Dem the Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden refuses to answer questions about an outdated racial term he used in a viral clip. Now this is the same guy calling for racial unity. You see, you see the hypocrisy of these devils? Bunch of hypocrites, man. He used in a viral clip from a 2017 video the, the video clip shows Biden surrounded by black women <laughs> and children at a pool renaming ceremony in Wilmington, Delaware. Biden regaled the crowd with a colorful story about the time he worked as a lifeguard at a desegregated swimming pool back in the day. Now here's a quote from Biden. By the way, you know, I sit on the stand and it gets hot. I, I got hot. I got a lot. I got a lot. I got hairy legs that turn blonde in the sun. <laughs> and the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so that it was straight. You talk about so-called black kids and then watch the hair come back up again. They'd look at it, so I learned about roaches. <laughs> so I learned about roaches. <laughs> what the hell is he talking about? I learned about kids jumping on my lap. <laughs> so freaky Biden. And I love kids jumping on my lap. Yeah, I'm sure you do. But that was a poor choice of words roaches while looking at so-called black kids you're thinking about roaches <laughs> so of course that that uh, quote caused a stir you know this was when he was running for uh presidency which he eventually got right so this is the same guy right this is the same guy that is calling for racial unity after the Buffalo shooting. All right, Biden urges unity to stem racial hate after Buffalo shooting. Same guy who equates so-called black kids to roaches. See the hypocrisy? Yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to go all into the Buffalo shooting, you know, the intricacies of it, but I am going to use it as an example of uh, of a punishment from the Heavenly Father against you Israelites for your wickedness. And he's going to use the so-called white man to do it, which is his sword. Ethnic cleansing, baby. Matter of fact, let's take a look at the, the definition of 
ethnic cleansing. Bear with me for a minute. Cleansing. Ethnic cleansing. Yeah, yeah. Ethnic cleansing. It says the the mass expulsion or killing of members of an unwanted ethnic or religious group in a society. So now, uh, unwanted. The key word there is unwanted. A lot of you Israelites. In the eyes of the Most High, you're unwanted because you're revolted and gone. I remember I read the scripture to you. So the Heavenly Father is preparing an ethnic cleansing of the nation of Israel. Okay? Let's get into the first scripture, the book of Hosea, the fourth chapter. Oh yeah, there's going to be an ethnic cleansing. The main ethnic cleansing is going to be when Yahweh Shai comes. As it is written, the slain of the Lord shall be many. Yahweh is going to be killing many Israelites, as well as the, the, the Edomites and members of the other nations. Okay? The book of Hosea, the fourth chapter, let's begin at the first verse. It says, Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel, which is the problem. They don't want to hear the word. Remember, I read the scripture, they refuse to know me through deceit, they have taught their tongue to speak lies. And here it is, the Lord got his prophets out here teaching you the truth. You don't want to hear the truth. We went to Harlem not too long ago. We were out there teaching for, what, a couple of hours? And nobody came up and asked us about what we were teaching. Not one person. Now, after the camp shut down, this one guy, we were dealing with him. You know, this uh, uh, one dude we started talking to. That was the only interaction we really had, okay? But the point is that the majority of Israelites out there, they don't want to hear the word of the Lord, okay? Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel, for the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land because there is no truth. And, and, and that ain't just Israel, that's Esau, all right? The Lord has a controversy with Esau too. But the, the thing is, the Lord is going to use Esau to punish you Israelites and then he's going to turn around and punish Esau. Okay? Uh, hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel, for the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land because there is no truth, see, nor mercy, nor knowledge of the Heavenly Father in the land. Hey, nothing but lies, man. America's... America is a, a, a cesspool of lies. Okay? Simply put. Second verse. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood toucheth blood. Yeah, and that's what you Israelites are involved in. Swearing, lying, killing, stealing. So the Lord got something, for, preparing something for you. All right? Third verse, therefore shall the land moan. See? A good example was the city of Buffalo. <laughs> that, that shooting. And like I said, that's just one of many to come. Therefore shall the land moan, and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven. Yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. And ultimately, that's talking about the nuclear destruction. And that land is talking about is America. The land that's going to moan. But before that, it's going to be all kind of chaos out here. Let's go to the book of Psalm, uh, Psalm 17 and 13. Because like I said, Esau is the, is the weapon of the Heavenly Father, which the Heavenly Father is going to use Esau to punish you Israelites. I can't say that enough. And that's what we're seeing in the news. The latest example is this Buffalo shooting. Psalm 17 and 13, it says, Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down. Disappoint him from what? 
because this this devil has an agenda. It's called the so-called New World Order. All right, so we're saying, we're asking the Lord to disappoint him, right? Disappoint him from that agenda of his. It's on the back of the dollar bill with the pyramid. A lot of people don't even know about that. They see the pyramid with the all seeing eye, but they, it doesn't really resonate with them what that really means. That is the agenda of the so-called white man, in, in particular the top banking families, which is to bring a so-called new world order. By the way, that's why they're creating all this chaos, by the way. Another example is this Buffalo shooting. They create all this chaos to justify bringing an order, okay? Goes back to the, the motto, auto ab chaos, or, order through chaos. Anyways, Psalm 17 and 13, Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Did you catch that? This is why it's important to learn about the Heavenly Father. Remember, we read the scripture, they refuse to know me. See what happens when you truly learn about the Heavenly Father and His Son? You know, <laughs> you, you find out the Heavenly Father and His Son is nothing to play with, man. And truly to be feared. Unlike what you were taught by your slave master. God is love. God loves everybody. That's simply not the truth. This is why the Most High is not feared like he should be. Because why would you fear a person who loves everybody? No matter what you do, he still loves you. It's madness, man. <laughs> anyway, arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. See? Plain, man. From the men which are thy hand, the left hand, O Lord, from men of the world which have their portion in this life. How is that not talking about Esau, Edom, the so-called white man? Huh? Do they not have their portion in this life? Who's ruling over who, huh? A so-called black people are not ruling over the so-called white man. They're ruling over us. Okay? Because it's in their power to rule right now. They're the Edomites that are supposed to rule over us for now. Until Shai comes and destroys their kingdom, then we're going to be ruling over them. Okay? From men which are thy hand, O Lord, from men of the world which have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasure, they are full of children, and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. Meaning, uh, uh, their inheritance. Their inheritance of, uh, of uh, the future generations. Okay? And they've been doing this ever since the, the Borgia family came into power, going back to what? Going back to the 1300s. They've been passing their inheritance down from generations since the, since the Borgia family. Okay? So you clearly see here that the wicked is the sword of the Lord. Alright? So let's go to... Uh, uh, Isaiah, the 10th chapter, the 5th verse. Let's read that. Isaiah, the 10th chapter, the 5th verse. Now, over here it says the Assyrian, but when you understand the scripture and its relation to what's happening, the, the modern day Assyrian would be Esau, Edom. Just like the Lord used the Assyrians. Now, you got to go back into history. The Lord had used the Assyrians, the Assyrian kings, to punish us Israelites because we became wicked. So he raised up the Assyrian kings to punish us. It's the same thing now. Okay? Esau plays the part of the modern-day Assyrian. Okay? Uh, for you to understand that, you'd have to know the history. Isaiah 10 and 5. O Assyrian, the rod of mine anger. At that time, when the Assyrians were ruling over us Israelites, uh... The Lord was very angry with the nation of Israel for their wickedness, in particular worshiping other gods. So it's the same thing now, okay? But Esau is the modern-day Assyrian. O Assyrian, the rod of mine anger, and the staff, meaning the power in their hand, is mine indignation. It's the same thing with Esau now. The power that's in Esau's hand with these weapons is the Lord's indignation. Indignation means righteous anger. In other words, the Lord is going to use them to punish you Israelites. I'm talking about Esau, Edom. Okay? And that, that, ex that example, the buffalo shooting, was just that, an example. 
and there's many more to come many more to come okay let's keep reading I will send him against an hypocritical nation who's that hypocritical nation you Israelites out there okay you Israelites out there inside and outside of the truth okay a bunch of hypocrites man let, let me not get started with you Israelites involved in these different religions okay nothing but a bunch of hypocrites but among you there's a few elect among you which the Lord will he will uh, retrieve his elect he will gather his elect but the rest of you like it says you are revolted and gone and the Lord is just preparing death for you destruction for you okay as a matter of fact since I said that the Lord is preparing death for you um, let's go to the book of Jeremiah 15 it's not on the list but it's an appropriate time to bring it out Jeremiah 15 and 1 show you the anger of the Lord against his people then said the Lord unto me though Moses and Samuel stood before me yet my mind could not be toward this people cast them out of my sight and let them go forth and it shall come and it shall come to pass if they will say unto thee whither shall we go forth then thou shalt tell them thus saith the Lord and what happened was we were kicked out of the land of Israel because of the anger of the Lord all right thus saith the Lord such as for, are for death to death and such as are for the sword to the sword remember the sword the same blessing that Esau received so the Lord have numbered certain Israelites to the sword hey those people that died at, at, at Buffalo you know those Israelites that died at Buffalo right which they were Israelites so-called blacks right they were numbered to the sword that was judgment can you not see that that was judgment brought on by the Lord and the Lord used a so-called white boy to do it okay and others too it wasn't just him he was just a lone patsy the Lord created that 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 moment of evil man Amos the third chapter shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it but now we know why the Lord did it because those Israelites were wicked that was judgment okay let's read it again thus saith the Lord such as are for death to death you see why the Heavenly Father Yahweh must be feared do you see it now all right and his only begotten son Yahweh why Yahweh Shai why they must be feared <laughs> Such as are for death to death, and such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine, the, those famines are on their way. The stage is being set. You, you have the food, sh food shortage. Food shortages is a big thing in the news, man. Food shortages, okay? The famines are being set. The stage is being set. And such as are for the famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. The, the detention centers are, are, are ready to go, all right? The concentration camps are ready to go, okay? All they need is the right crisis, and you're going to see those things enacted. It's the same thing that Apostle John saw on the island of Patmos, how people were being rounded up for not taking the image, or rather, the mark of the beast, which the mark of the beast is what? The CHI, the CH to the IP, okay? Let's keep reading. It says, And I will appoint over them four kinds, saith the Lord, the sword to slay, <laughs> and the dogs to tear, those are the beasts of the field, and the fowls of the heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. See? So the Lord is preparing great, terrible judgments. Okay? Great, terrible judgments, man. And, and like what you saw in Buffalo, that's, that's nothing. That's just the beginning. That's, Heavenly Father getting warmed up. Isaiah 10 and 6. It says, I will send him against an hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath will I give him a charge. So a charge is, is a number. So the Heavenly Father is going to use Esau to, to, uh, to uh, bring destruction on the number of you Israelites out there. Okay? This is what is meant by uh, let's read it again. The people of my wrath will I give him a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the streets. 
I would say that that Buffalo um, shooting was a good example of that. Okay, and like I said, that's just that's just a, a warm up. Okay. Let's go from there to Romans 13 and begin at the first verse. It says, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. Who's the highest power? The heavenly father, Yahweh, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. All Israelites should be subject to that power, but, you know, regrettably they're not. Okay. For there is no power but of Yahweh. There you go. The powers that be are ordained of Yahweh. So the powers that be which is Esau, ordained of the Father, right? Whoso, whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of the Heavenly Father, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. Now, I could go on to explain that, but I want to just get to the point. I don't want to make this video too long. Now, here's the point here, that why I brought the scripture out. For rulers are not a terror to good works, now, what's a good work? Us being out there teaching this word, that's a good work. They can't just move on us like they want to because we're representing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We're doing a good work. But to the evil, and that's you Jakes out there, all right? You, you, you Israelites out there, you're doing an evil work. You're selling drugs, you're lying, you're committing adultery, you're doing all kind of wickedness. So the rulers are terror to what evil works. Let's keep reading. Will thou... Then not be afraid of the power because the heavenly father is controlling Esau. Okay? Do that which is good and thou shalt have praise of the same. What is good? Learning this truth, learning this knowledge. There's a scripture where it says, uh, when the ways of a man pleaseth the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. Check that out. But the ways of these Israelites out there are not pleasing the Lord. That's why he's going to use their enemies to come against them, which is Esau. Okay? This thing is chess, man. This thing ain't checkers. This is chess. And the Heavenly Father is the master chess player. <laughs> All right? <laughs> Reading on, it says, For he is the minister of the Most High to thee for good. It's talking about Esau. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he, now here's the point, for he beareth not the sword in vain. Again, who, what is Esau's power? The sword. Remember, the Lord said he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of the heavenly father on the left hand side, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. And that's Esau. See? So you Israelites out there that are doing evil, be very afraid because the Lord is using Esau to punish you. Again, that buffalo mass shooting, that was a good example. Okay? Those people that died, they were wicked, man. In the sight of the Heavenly Father, they were wicked. Okay? Ezekiel 21, 9 to 13. We're going to end with that. Ezekiel 21, 9 to 13. I'm going to read it quick. I've gone through the scripture many times. Uh, Ezekiel 21, 8. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord, say a sword. A sword is sharpened and is also furbished. So Esau is getting ready. Okay, a lot of Edomites are, are disgruntled. The fact that they know they're losing their kingdom and then they look around and they see their main enemy. <laughs> you know their main enemy is. And they get mad, man. They say, uh, these people are taking away our, our country. They're taking away our nation. Yeah, a country uh, that they stole. Okay? They don't talk about that. All right? So there's this animosity. There's this hatred. And like I said earlier in the lesson, it really goes back to the enmity the Lord put between the seed of the serpent, which is Esau, Edom, and the seed of the woman, which is Israel. So it's an old hatred. So that sword... Since Esau's in power, he's going to use that sword against you Israelites, man. Okay? Uh, the 10th verse. It is sharpened to make a saw slaughter. Right. <laughs> like, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Graydon? Uh, the, the guy who, uh, uh, who, uh, uh, bear with me for a minute. I'm trying to find the, uh, Hold on a minute. Yeah, 
what's this guy's name? Graydon something. Yeah. Peyton, I'm sorry. Peyton Gendron. <laughs> Peyton Gendron. He was the sword of the Lord, man. Peyton Gendron, the sword of the Lord. <laughs> That's a video right there. Okay. It is sharpened to make a saw slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? Yeah, are we in the time of mirth? It contemneth the rod of my son as every tree. We're not in the time of mirth. We're in the time of trouble. And like I said, it's only going to escalate. And he have given it to be furbished that it may be handled. The sword is sharpened and it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. <laughs> to give it into the hand of the slayer. <laughs> there you go. So clearly you see the Heavenly Father is, is the one, the main one behind this. He created this. Shall there be evil in the city and I the Lord have not done it? And he did it through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Okay? There you go. And it's, it's going to be more. Many more. Okay? Let's read the 12 verse. Cry and howl, son of man, for it shall be upon my people. It shall be upon... Who, who are the main people that got killed? Ten people got killed by this... Peyton, Peyton Gendron, <laughs> the sword, the sword of the Lord. Ten people got, got wasted, man. And there's many more to come, man, because the Lord is mad. Remember, Hosea 4 and 1, the Lord have a controversy with you, you, with you Israelites. He got beef with you because you refused to return back to him the right way. Ezekiel 21 and 12, cry and howl, son of man. This is exactly what I'm doing. I'm, I'm crying and howling in this video. For it shall be upon my people. It shall be upon the princes of Israel. Terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon my people. Terrors by reason. Come on. Does that not count? The buffalo mass shooting. Does that not count for terrors upon the Lord's people? The you Israelites out there? And like I said, it's going to escalate. There's going to be more attacks. Okay. Uh, terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon my people. Smite death or upon thy, thy thigh. Anyway, I'm going to end it there. Hopefully you were edified. On to the next one.